Hello, friends. It's time for reading. Um, it's starting to get a little dark outside here. It is for me, it is the 17th, which makes it, I don't know, Wednesday? Wednesday, I think. Anyway, the sky looks like it's getting a little bit dark. It is about five o'clock where I am. Um, for you seeing this video, you will actually see it on Friday, um, the 19th. So we'll see what the weather does out there. It's a little was a little bit chilly today. Um, hopefully, hopefully you got a chance to get outside and play because although it was chilly, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terribly cold. And tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be pretty warm. So we'll see what it does. But anyway, today is Friday. It, that means it's game day. We have played already played some cool games. We played an English game about irregular plural nouns. We played a math game. What was our math game? It was the one about the measurement where we measured the characters. And now it's time for reading. And in reading, um, remember I wanted to get to where we were doing some free reading. I uh, can't do group reading, unfortunately, but we can do some free reading and some fun reading. And the story I found for you today is one that looks good. It's called Memoirs of a Goldfish. So we'll see what, what that one's like. So we'll pull it up. But the other thing that we need to pull up before we even do that is our paper for today. And we do need a piece of paper for this, okay? Um, here is your paper, and we're going to write our name and date. So I'm gonna get my name up in here. Start with my name. my date, which is the 19th. Okay. And then let me do a text stamp in here, a text box in here, and we'll write the title of the book. Let me show it to you. Let me do a new share. Yes. And that way we can look and see how it's spelled. Memoirs of a Goldfish. Let me move, move, move out of the way here. M-E-M-O-I-R-S. Memoirs of a Goldfish. Memoirs. wonder what that means. Memoir. There it is. Memoir. It's a noun. It means a story of personal experience or an autobiography, usually used in plural, or a biography. Okay. Um, Memoirs of a Goldfish. All right, now let's make sure we write that down on our paper. Different share. There it is. And so we do a text box and we're going to do M E M O I R S dot A. Goldfish. Oh, that's not right. Okay, and let me point out something when we do a title again. Remember, we said when you write a title, you make the first letter uppercase, you make the last letter uppercase, and all the important words get an uppercase letter. So we've got our first letter, we've got our last letter. But these two words in the middle of a, uh, not really very, I hate to call them unimportant because that might make them feel bad, but they're just little words that are in there. They don't really give us any information. This title wouldn't be the same if it was just called of a, would it? No, not really. You kind of need the word memoirs and you kind of need the word goldfish in there to try to paint a picture in your mind of what this is about. Okay, so when we do this, this is what we're going to do. And I need you to do, let's get a line. Ah. Do a line straight down. And then we'll do a line straight across. So you, ooh, friends. I definitely like this a little better. 
then oh, look at that. Then our um, what you call it? See, he's jumping. Stop. There we go. Close enough. So that we have our paper in four sections. Okay. Because you're going to draw it, you're going to write something here, 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 and here. You're going to draw four frames, four pieces of this story that you remember and that you like. Okay. So here we go. Let's read our story. Memoirs of a Goldfish. Oh, move myself out of the way here. And we'll turn the page. Oh, just a page. It says, to my beautiful guppies, Griffin, Quinn, Maddox, and Christian. Boy, that's hard to read. If we can make it bigger, uh, I'll do it. Well, let me do it. Okay. It says, Day one. I swam around my bowl. It gives us all kinds of information. I swam around my bowl. Day two, I swam around my bowl twice. Twice means two times. His face, I love his face. Very cute. How many of you have a goldfish at home? Day three, I swam around my bowl. I thought about taking a nap, but fish don't sleep. So I swam around my bowl. Day four, I got some company today. I don't like the looks of him one bit. He doesn't say anything. He just bubbles. Coming out of his head. That's used to help the uh, fish get air in his inside his water. <laughs> this is a great story. Day five. Mr. Bubbles still hasn't said a word. He just looks at me. I said hello today, and he said. He's creepy. Day six. Today, my bowl looks like a garden. There are a bunch of plants in here now. Guess I'll have to water them. Great. Day seven. Mr. Bubbles and I now have company. He's a snail. He says his name is Mervyn and he likes to eat the slime off the inside of the bowl. He's disgusting. Day eight. Things are getting very crowded. While watering the plants, I met a crab named Fred. I offered him my fin and he nearly cut it off. Even Mr. Bubbles is afraid of him. Fred says I should stay on my side of the bowl. Look, I said, the whole bowl is my side of the bowl. He snapped his claw and Mervyn fainted. I got to get out of here. Day nine. That does it. My bowl now contains a sunken pirate ship, two gumpies named Rhoda and Clark, and an angelfish named Cha-Cha, who says she's from Hollywood. I can't turn around without bumping into something. At least Mervyn is happy. There's more gunk on the side of the bowl every day. See Mervyn's face? He's all happy over there. 
day 10. This is ridiculous. I was trying to find room for a swim today when Rhoda and Clark told me they're going to have babies soon. Like there's room for that. Fred knocked Mr. Bubbles over and he became tangled in the plants. Cha-Cha said she couldn't help with Mr. Bubbles, but needed me to apply her sunscreen. The sides of the bowl are covered in slime and Mervyn says he's too full to eat any more. Yeah. Day 11. I'm a nervous wreck. Trying to avoid Fred, I turned around quickly this morning and came face to face with my reflection in a mirror. I nearly jumped out of my gills. I don't even look like myself anymore. I need to relax. Day 12. I've had it. Rhoda and Clark were racing around the bowl. Fred was fighting with Mr. Bubbles. Mervyn kept belching, and Cha-Cha told me I was standing in her light. I just lost it. This is my bowl, I screamed. I want my bowl back. Day 13. Today, I got my wish. With a whoosh, and a splash, and a clank, and a plunge, I was suddenly in a very tiny bowl of clear, pure water. Ah. It was small, but it was all mine. It was heavenly. I swam around my new bowl twice. But I started to wonder what had happened to everyone. When I last saw Mr. Bubbles, he was tangled in green. Who would help him? Poor Mervyn was probably sick as a dogfish. He needs me. Cha-Cha will get a sunburn without me around. What about Rhoda and Clark? Did Rhoda have her baby guppies? There are probably a thousand of them. They need me to make guppy bottles and change guppy diapers. Even Fred needs me. I'm the only one who can really talk to that crabby guy. Have they even noticed I'm gone? Does anyone miss me? I started to cry. That's not easy for a fish to do. Day 14, after a long, sad night, there was a whoosh and a splash and a clank and a plunge, and I was suddenly sprayed in the face by Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles gurgled a happy tune. Rhoda and Clark raced by like two speedboats, followed by 12 of the cutest baby guppies you've ever seen. Mervyn waved his tail at me from the clean glass of our enormous tank. Cha-Cha sat happily beneath an umbrella. I think even Fred missed me. We were all back together and I looked around and realized I was part of a big family. I guess I must have smiled because Clark said, you look happy? I wanted to see for myself. Where's the mirror, I asked. What mirror? asked Clark. I don't have a mirror, said Fred. No mirror? I wonder, no wonder I didn't look like myself. It wasn't me I was seeing. Her name is Gracie, and she's the color of a fresh tangerine. She's a Pisces, just like me. And today, we're going to swim around the tank together. twice. Very good. How'd you like it? I loved it. What a great book. What a great book. We did great. That was fun. Should we take the quiz on it? Let's take the quiz. Let's see. Who was the main character? Fred? Goldfish, Mervyn, or Mr. Bubbers? I think it was Goldfish. Very good. And the next one. Here are our choices. Mervyn fainted. Bubbles did not talk. Rhonda and Clark had 182 baby guppies. Or the bowl was too crowded. And the question says, 
What was the problem? Remember, I told you every story has a problem. What's wrong in this story that needs to be fixed? Oh, the bowl was too crowded. Very good. All right, and here are our choices for the next one. Where does this story take place? A fishbowl, Australia, the net, or the playground? Hmm, let's have, I think it's probably Jamia's turn to answer this. Where does this story happen? A fishbowl? I think so too. Let's try that one. Very good. And the last one, or the next one for KJ. Our choices are zero, 12, 11, and 2,082. Question says, how many gu baby guppies did Rhonda and Clark have? What do you think, KJ? I think it was 12. What do you think? Yay! And here's the next one. This one's for Rylan. Here are our choices. What was solution to the crowded bowl? Here are the choices. They just lived with the smaller bowl. All the animals jumped out of the water. Fred scared everyone away. Or they got a new bigger fish bowl. Here's the question. What was the solution to the crowded bowl? What do you think, Ryman? They did. They got a big new fish tank. Very good. Wow, I wonder how we did. Yay, we got them all correct. Nice job, very good. Okay, so let's come to the part that you need to do. We need to go up to our paper again. And here it is. And we need, you need to draw for me four panels in this book. Four things that you remember, your four favorite parts. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Go ahead and stop the video. Get that done. I've got a cat meowing that wants in. I better let her in while you're doing that. And then I will see you next for, what have we got? Spelling. Oh, spelling test today. See you then. Bye-bye.